Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty again. But first of all, I'm going to give you guys a quick update on the Infinite Warfare trailer. It's officially got 2 million dislikes. Oh my gosh. If the Activision PR department's not on suicide watch right now, they better be because that is the biggest PR nightmare ever. They're breaking milestones, but it's not the milestones they want to break. And that is just a crazy situation. But the next thing that I want to talk about today is another reason for the Activision PR department to go completely insane. And that is the community is freaking out that Activision decided to release the Modern Warfare trilogy this month at the end of the month. They're releasing it for Xbox 360 and PS3, basically alienating the people who, you know, actually spent the money and upgraded to the new consoles. And it's kind of like, why would you do that? But then again, I can, I, I can kind of understand what they're thinking, but I think I'm the only one that's like thinking logically in this whole scenario. Everybody else on Twitter was just like in a complete freak out mode, which rightfully so, uh, you know, at the... At face value, it looks, it sounds like a dumb idea and it kind of is. But then again, you have to look at, you have to get deeper. You have to think about it, guys. The new game, the Infinite Warfare or Modern Warfare Remastered is not releasing on Xbox 360 or PS3. Rightfully so, because the game is like, or the consoles are like a paperweight. But now my, my thing is, I think Activision is being a little bit smarter. I think they're deliberately trying to push sales on the Modern Warfare trilogy just so that Xbox One decides to, you know, make that game a backwards compatible game so that the people on Xbox One will be able to play the Modern Warfare trilogy with the rest of the peasant consoles. No offense, guys, if you own those consoles, I owned them as well. I loved them for years, but it's time to upgrade, dudes. It's, I know, I know money might be tight, but, uh, you know, keep saving, keep saving. It's going to happen eventually. Hopefully these consoles, you know, drop down in price so you guys can buy them, but I completely know what you guys are going through. The people with the old consoles, I know people that have them and it is just a unfortunate situation and I hope you guys can upgrade soon. But yeah, guys, let's talk about this situation right here they're releasing the modern warfare trilogy for 30 bucks with only one dlc map pack and that is the stimulus package for modern warfare 2 and this leads me to believe even more that they're going to release this game in as backwards compatible for xbox one the first thing that comes to mind is microsoft actually accident they kind of did a little bit of a goof but mw2 actually leaked on their store uh somehow i have no idea who pressed the button who fucked it up but it was shown on the xbox store so that just means that they're either working on it or they're testing Modern Warfare 2 as a backwards compatible game on the Xbox One. It's going to be crazy to see what happens. I honestly support Activision in this situation. I don't really support them very often, but this time I'm going to give them the, I'm going to give them the win. They're not going to hold the L this time. That's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, this has been your boy Nemo and I'm out. Peace. Viciously pacing, waiting. I give a fuck if I'm late. Tell Satan, be patient. But I ain't here for durations. I'm just taking vacations. And tell them, fuck them. I never love them in salutations.